What's up guys, Zev Monopoly here. If you're looking to make money in the stock market and you want a swing trading strategy, this video is for you. Because since October 2023, and I think most of you on the inside would agree with me on this, I haven't had a single loss. And a lot of you who follow me on the inside, you have been closing your positions lately with greens and profits. And I think so far, uh, on average, we pulled 70% on overall capital since I started. So, you, you know, swing trading, when it comes to swing trading, hedge fund want to make 20%. I actually helped you guys make near to 100% return. And I'm going to share with you how I find these stocks that can give you those 100% returns. And I'm not talking penny stocks, by the way, but we're talking industries, hot industries that I've been speaking about. So let me just go over the strategy, break it down for you. And it's not confusing at all because swing trading is just buy and hold and sell when you make money, right? Uh, so let me just share with you some results from the team. Uh, just two days ago, we closed 20% on Mara, which is a, a crypto stock, and also Spire Global, which is Spur. I closed 10%, but most people would have closed more, uh, 24%, 13%. Uh, this stock actually ran up by 28% in one day, uh, and most people came in at a later stage, so on average, they would have made 40% if they came in at a later stage. But average you can see is about 20%. Mara similarly, I pulled 20% and yeah, 30% 30, uh, 30, uh, profit. This guy is getting close to his Maldives honeymoon and 47% uh, and then most of us would have taken 20% on this trade. So this is not just a trade I shared publicly. This is a trade I actually shared on YouTube as well uh, months ago. So. Let's go over the strategy and let me explain to you what I look for. So, the Z Monopoly strategy is simple, guys. Number one, and by the way, before I begin, make sure to smash that like button, guys. Turn the notifications, subscribe to this channel. YouTube has punished me for not posting a lot, so it's not really showing my videos to my followers. Uh, so, if you're looking to actually progress in the swing trading field or the investing field, or you're looking to make money, smash that like button, drop a comment so the algorithm knows that you're interested in this video. So let's get right into it. Z Monopoly strategy is simple. Find a stock or industry and here is the highlight that is suppressed. Make sure financials are good. Build a hypothesis that this suppression is temporary. Allocate the right capital. Diversify. Okay, so finding a stock or an industry that's suppressed. This is where I guess experience needs to come into play because not every cheap stock is suppressed. Some stocks are suppressed because let's say real estate stocks. Let's use that as an example. You've got interest rates are high, right? So real estate stocks are suppressed because of interest rates. So as interest rates come down, these stocks go up, right? So you have this. And I guess that's a trade for you guys, is, is real estate, right? Real estate stocks. But then you have to look at the financials to make sure the financials are good. And we're gonna go through examples. So you don't get bankruptcy or potential delisting or even a loss of value in the stock. So you wanna make sure they don't have a lot of debt. They have an equal cash to debt ratio and uh, the revenue is okay the previous profit, they have good guidance in the last earner report, all of these things I look at. Build a hypothesis that this suppression is temporary. So you need to understand, for example, if a stock is suppressed because something uh, is gonna take two years, like an event that's gonna take two years to lift this suppression, uh, I would avoid it. But if it's a stock that has a suppression, but you know there's in a year's time, this suppression will be lifted, like interest rates, then you would go for that. Or in Mara's example, okay, position closure Mara, 20%, the suppression was Bitcoin. We understood Bitcoin goes up, Mara follows. So Mara was down because of Bitcoin, but if you believe in the Bitcoin uh, outcome, then why not buy Mara? Now, just to remind you guys, the halving is coming and all these mining stocks will get halved in revenue, but Mara actually has uh, Bitcoin on its balance sheet, so this will move like an ETF because it has Bitcoin on its balance sheet. 
So let's go back to building a hypothesis. The hypothesis is important, guys. Allocate the right capital. You need to, so if you find a high risk trade, you need to allocate the right capital. So I'll give you an example. Again, with these two. Uh, on Mara, I had 20%. On Spur, I had lower. So I'll give you an example. So for example, I have Marathon Digital Holding and I have Spur Global. This is a $10 stock, this is a, a $23 stock. But I noticed this $23 stock moves faster than this stock, Spur Global. So I would actually allocate ca less capital to Mara. But in this case, it wouldn't make sense because Marathon Digital Holding has a, a more, uh, I guess, imminent move potential. So you would say I would allocate more to it rather than spur global which only moved really 30 percent in one day after really struggling the last couple of days um, so the final one is diversify this is where you have insurance this is your insurance diversification you could be right on the trade but if you don't diversify and you end up being wrong well you will take a hit with all your capital so the best thing to do it is identify which stock is strong financially, high cap, and then you would give it most of your capital, 20%, and then you would take another stock, 20%. On average, diversification is about four to five stocks at each time. You have to do it, guys, four to five stocks. You cannot go all in on one stock. Number one, you won't sleep at night, all right? Uh, and you want insurance. This is not a, a require, like, not a choice. This is insurance. So if you lose or, or you're wrong on a trade, you actually uh, make it back on the other trades. And if a stock gets delisted, let's say you go into a penny stock and it ends up being bankrupt or delisted, you don't lose all your money. Um, you only lose a little bit. But this is why I'm here to share with you these stocks that have a lower risk of delisting of bankruptcy, higher risk of growth. So, the most important thing you need to take from this video is you find a, a, an industry that is suppressed, okay? And then you identify what could come next that will lift the suppression and that will result in the stock being lifted. Like, not all stocks are down because of their financials, just so you know. It's because their industry is being suppressed because of external factors. Like, and, and this is the moment and time for it. But essentially, guys, this is the strategy. Do I look at technicals? Do I look at a chart? This is the last thing I look at, by the way. I don't look at charts now. I look at them later. I say, hmm, where's the potential entry? So I look at my nearest support level on the daily, on the weekly, on the monthly, and I say, okay, I'll just buy it here. But you're not always right, right? So the so timing of entry is not always right. If I see a stock that's near resistance and I know there's going to be a pullback, I will avoid it and just wait, okay? But essentially, that's how we do things, guys. This is a simple strategy. And this is the strategy that's generating me 50,000 a month. Actually, this is the strategy that's also helping you guys make money. Now, of course, it's all knowledge-based. Like most of these things I explained, most people say, why are you telling the public? Well, you still need the experience for it. Like this isn't easy, right? Finding a stock or indice that's suppressed, that's not easy. You need time in the markets to identify that or to be able to tell what is causing the market to pull back or an industry to pull back. Make sure financials are good. That's not easy. Most people don't know what to look at at financials. You know, what are we looking at here exactly? Uh, build a hypothesis. I guess that's self-belief. Building a hypothesis, a hypothesis is self-belief. Allocate the right capital. That's doable. Everybody knows what a penny stock is. Everybody knows what a high cap stock is. Uh, diversify is easy as well. You know, diversify means you put your eggs in different baskets. So if one doesn't do well, the others do well. And essentially, this is really what's, uh, how we're using the strategy to, to make money in the market, swing trading. And all it takes now is buying and holding and waiting to close. And we flip and rotate every two to three months. Lately, we've been doing it every two months. The last rotation 
was in December 2023. Now it's February. So yes, it's, it's around every two months or a month and a half. We rotate the different stocks after we close some positions. And some positions we leave longer because they haven't, uh, you know, I guess prospered. And on top of that, we're also, I guess, we're keeping stocks longer than usual if we see potential or if we haven't made any money from that stock yet. Because some stocks, like I said, have suppression long term while others are short term, like Bitcoin mining stocks and AI recently just got that suppression lifted. Now what's next is luxury most likely, real estate uh, or EITs. So this suppression is gonna be lifted, so that, that's where the opportunities will be. So hopefully you enjoyed this, guys. If you know what I'm talking about, drop a comment below. If you understood what I'm saying, drop a comment below. Um, again, I want you guys to just join the Patreon. You don't have to join the paid version. You just join because I post content there um, when, when, I, when I need to. Like if I, if I see a market update that needs to be updated to the public, or something is happening, I will need to share it publicly. So hopefully you don't get in and try to, to buy or sell something. Um, but look, it's simple. Swing trading is all about timing. Timing, the lift of the suppression, timing the next upcoming thing to happen for the market, and timing the right time to buy a stock. Uh, this is, you know, timing is how we make money. And time, allowing the stock to fluctuate, go up and down, will also ensure that we do not try to guess market direction short term, uh, because market direction long term is always up. But our trades last two months, one to two months. And we're trading large sums as well. We're not trading traditional uh, stocks that you guys know, Tesla and whatnot, Apple. Uh, not yet anyways, because there's a lot of opportunities in the market with suppression. And as stocks and high returns start to you know, disappear, because everybody would have taken their money, they will probably move on to crypto and altcoins. So guys, that's me done. If you enjoyed this, you know what to do. Smash that like and I'll see you guys on Instagram because I'm also active there. Peace.